Hi, I'm Tim Haddock, Multimedia Editor for the Badger Herald, and today we're asking people around the UW campus their opinion on the 2012 presidential election. So, what do you look for in a presidential candidate? Um, I suppose that, especially right now, their economic policies, because, you know, obviously when I graduate I want to be able to have a job. Confidence and uh, knowledge, somebody who comes off like they've done their homework on the issues. Um, an awesome dude that um, represents students' views and will be like there for what we need and not take away our stuff. I'm not that into politics, so I look for someone I think can lead the country well and will get us out of debt. Good policies, good policies humanitarianism, not doing everything in terms of economics. I'm someone who is reliable and mostly sticks to the word. I mean, it's not likely that these days that people are going to stick to the word. And uh, which candidate do you think best supports your beliefs? Uh, um, I believe Obama does. Um, I mainly support Obama. Socially, like for, yeah, socially probably Barack Obama, but when it comes to like economic policies and other stuff, and foreign policy, Mitt Romney, I'd say. Um, probably Mitt Romney. Obama. Obama. Romney. Mitt Romney. <laughs> I'm pro Obama, but not by much, I don't so think. Like Obama. Obama? Yep. Alrighty. Which candidate do you think best supports us students? I would say again Barack Obama because he supports like increasing Pell Grant programs and student loan programs and things like that. Probably Mitt Romney. <laughs> do you think the debates are effective uh, in helping people decide who to vote for? A little bit. I think it mostly depends on well, at least what I've noticed is stances on like gay marriage and like, social issues like that. So I don't think the debates have too much of an impact. People already have their mindset. I think they're the most effective out of anything. I think they're effective for more like independent voters. I mean, yes and no. You get to learn a lot about the candidates, but at the same time, there's no fact checking in any of them, and so they can get, just kind of say whatever they want. And I mean, both sides lied a lot, so they're not the most important part of it all. Um, no, I really don't. I think they're more of a way of voters just to judge who they're voting for. And uh, last question, did you play a drinking game during the debate? I did not. Okay. Not during any of them, no. No. No, unfortunately. I did not. I wish I would have now. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if I should answer that. <laughs> no names, no questions, anything like that? Um, maybe. <laughs> What were some of the rules that you heard about drinking games? <laughs> um, you had to drink every time they addressed their opponent in the third person. Mm -hmm. You had to drink every time Obama mentioned Obamacare and Romney mentioned Romney Care. You know, there were there were a whole bunch of rules. Very cool. Very cool.